Then Vivek left the House of Assassins and went back to the space that was not his space. From the provisional house, he looked into the middle world to find the third monster called Horde Mountain. It was made of modular warriors running free, but spaced according to the pattern. And from the highest warrior who could cut the clouds, they spread out beneath him like a tree, a skirt whose bottom circle was an army that ran through the ash. Vivek admired the cone shape of his child and remembered with joy the whirlwind fighting styles that instructed him during the days before life. Vivek moved into Veloth, saying Onos, but before he could even get within swordspan of the monster, a trio of lower houses had trapped Horde Mountain, a net of doubtful doctrine. When they saw their lord, the Velothi cheered. We are happy to serve you and win, they said. Vivek smiled at those brave souls around him and summoned celebration demons to cleave unto the victors. There was a great display of love and duty around the netted monster, and Vivek was at the center with a headdress made of mating bone. He laughed and told mystical jokes and bade the heads of the three houses marry and become a new order. You shall forever be now my buoyant armagers, he said. Then Vivek pierced Horde Mountain with Madra and made of it all a big bag of bones. At the touch of his right hand, the net became the right scripture and he threw it all northeasterly. The content spread out like sugar glows, and Vivek and the buoyant armagers ran under it laughing. Finally, the bones of the Horde Mountain landed and became the foundation stones for the City of Swords, which Vivek named after his own sigil, and the net fell across it all and between, or became the bridges between the bones, and since its segments had been touched by his holy wisdom, they became the most perfect of all city streets in the known world. Drew of the Velothi came to the new city, and Arm and Set gave it their blessing. The streets were filled with laughter and love, and the strength of tree-shaped enemy children. Arm said, To my brother sister's city, I give the holy protection of House Indoril, whose power and thrones know no equal under the heaven, wherefrom came the Hortator. Set said, to my brother, sister, city, I give safe passage to the dark corner still left of Molek Bar, and I give it the spell as well, so t ha sil which is my name to the mighty. It will protect though the lost unless their fight is on purpose and fill all roads and alleys with mystery, paths of civilization, and give the city a mind and make of it a conduit to the full concrete of the Amal Savai. Thus was founded the city of Vivek, the days of Rasdania. The ending of the words is Amal Savai.